We're up to part 10 of our conversation with Paul Carrick. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. What was the decision process of not being in Mike and the Mechanics? Was that your idea? Yeah. To be honest, when Paul passed away, I think really, I think that would have been the time for us to have said, okay, you know, that's the end of that chapter. Because we, we had a thing. It was, it was a popular band, you know, and, and um, touring, especially around the UK and, and, and Europe. And, and it became a thing that, that it was the three of us. It was Mike, Paul, and myself. When, when he went, you know, it lost, it lost the chemistry, to be honest. And um, probably should have left it there, to be honest with you. But um, we tried to keep, Mike wanted to keep, keep it going. He felt that, you know, we had established something and we should try to keep it going. So we did. And um, then there was always a question of um, time because it would take time to write stuff, record it, promote, tour, whatever. And it was taking up a, a, quite a lot of time. I felt that I wasn't giving myself enough time to do my thing, which, as I say, I, I love being a part of all, uh, other people's projects. And um, But my going to wasn't really my thing in that sense. I mean, I think I brought something to it, but, you know, not necessarily. Um, I'm more of a rootsy fan, you know, um, soul, country, that sort of stuff. And I wanted to give myself the opportunity to, to do that. And, and to be honest, not least because I actually realized that, you know, I'd been doing this for a long time. I'd sung hits for bands that made, and I, you know, and I think to be honest, that the thing what did it was I put out a little compilation album of my own little label. And, it, you know, it's called uh, The Story So Far. And I had to license records that I'd sung on, you know, to, to have on this thing. And I wasn't allowed to have the living years. <laughs> and, I, and suddenly the penny dropped. It was like, you know, I have no rights to these songs, you know, and when it, which is okay. Oh, no, okay. I'll pay the license fee. But when it, when I was denied the opportunity to, when other third parties had used this song, you know, so I, I said, I can't really have a compilation without that. And, and that kind of made me think, you know what, even at this stage, which is 20 years ago, I need to have my own catalog of work that I own and control. So uh, that's, kind of why I did it and um, I left and um, so there's a new kind of lineup now and then sure they're very good I mean I know Andy Rochford is a great great singer so um, but that's fine we're okay I've seen Mike recently and we're fine oh. have you uh, have you heard their newer stuff not really uh, did you start with the guitar first or the piano no I started with drums a few bits and pieces in the attic that had belonged to my dad. And I used to bash along to records. My brother played guitar. So there was a guitar always hanging around. We didn't have a piano with no room. We played a lit, as I explained before, we lived in a little room at the back of a shop. I would have loved to have had a piano. My uh, uncle had a piano and on a Sunday, sometimes we visit him and I'd be tinkering away. And then I remember one Sunday I turned up, and it was locked and, and they'd lost the key. So <laughs> I never got any further. I would have loved to learn, but no. So keyboards came last. We'll have more from Paul Carrick in the next three, four days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. This is Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.